How good is my cav? It's pretty dope. Cavalry combat ab Oh, it's only 100 plus 10%. Huh. I thought I had more than that. Do I get extra shock or something? I know I get something. Oh, I will get this. I need a regimental camp and a Sunrise Elf Military Advisor, and we can get a bunch of bonuses. I think I should do that now. Yeah, those are pretty fucking dope modifiers. Uh, shall we do one of those things called Merchant Guild Loans? And with that, we'll build a temple here, because game want me to. And then here, we build Regimental Camp, because game want me to. I gotta recruit the other Sunrise Elf in the Kingdom, seeing as it's just him and Hedarian. My son! No, he'd be half-elf, wouldn't he? Uh, but what we can do is we can recruit Elven Advisor like this for 50 ducats. Get an event. So we send out messengers both within our own lands and across the continent to seek out Elven-blooded advisors for our court. Of the options they return to us with, we choose the Retired General. And we get Jeroen Nitpatani. Who is a level 2 force limit modifier at half price. If you want to make cavalry good, I need to bring its cost down and increase its combat ability. I know, I would. However, I don't like cavalry. <laughs> I think um, the long-term goal here is, is obviously always going to be to get rid of cavalry entirely. No, I'm losing my great power status. Although, interestingly, Oroklin isn't on this list. Fuck you, Mithridatum. I'm fucking fourth? What the shit? Natimraj, literally double the next dudes. Like, seriously, this is like this is pretty balanced. This is fucking mad. Although this is actually only people I can see, in fairness. Uh, so yeah, Arokin's on 481. That's actually wild how he can afford this on 481 dev. I'm going to grab manpower recovery speed. So this is going to go Fester. And also we get fucking global trade power. Let's go. That trade is so fucking great. We've got a, got a sweet ass fucking seven. Seven ducats. I mean... Let's have a look, income-wise. Auroklin is 48 because he's getting 21 ducats from trade. Although his taxation is like double mine as well. 16 versus mine, well, it's not, it's, it's not, it's like, you know, 30% more. It's literally just the trade though. The trade income difference is actually insane. I can't believe I make more than as Jakuma, although he's having the same trade issue. Good trade nodes. Yeah, this is literally the worst trade node in the game. Like, I'm not even bothered. Like, I will not improve any of these emporiums or anything. It is fucking useless. Oh, mission fulfilled! The Shining Lancers! Lovely. The Shining Lancers have long been the elite core of our military structure. But even in the long memories of the elves, their origins as highly disciplined members of the Phoenix Legions have begun to fade. We have supplied them with the finest horses. Now we must give them the best training that can be offered by our nation's advisors. In time, they will surpass their already glorious origins. Uh, a dupe. Anyway, we've gotten to this. Azkara needs a temple and a barracks, which we cannot yet afford. If I could get another accepted culture slot, that would be pretty dope. Culture ideas might be of interest. Yes, they give plus three. This, this is this is accurate. Um, like that's great. This is literally less than worthless. Um, that's okay. That's really good. That's good. Religious unity is pretty good. Your separation is really good. Diplo rep is really good. I probably will. I probably will go culture ideas. Um, because my next one has to be either admin or dip. I'm probably going to go dip because I'm so much further behind on admin. Culture into development. Tolerance is actually hidden OP. You'll be able to choose a higher level 2 and 3 advisor every 5 years. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Another 10 years of separatism. 
More promoted cultures. Five accepted cultures gives plus 7.5 land morale. Oh, heathens and heretics. Oh, rest. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so fucking good. But also, development is OP as fuck. Like, this is OP as fuck. It's just free development for no fucking reason. Culture into development. And then we restart the three-way thing again. Culture into development. Uh, culture into development into tolerance. I think I should probably, yeah, keep on getting a lot of admin power. Uh, you're going to get replaced. I don't need you to be... Because you're fucking expensive. I'll go with you again. People laugh at our army. Why are they laughing at our army? Our army's fucking great. Although the decision to go for a master army makes sense to many inside our country, uncouth foreigners are laughing at us. Saying our army is nothing but an undisciplined mob. Motherfuckers, how about you eat shit and fuck off? You lie. You lie through your teeth. You you scoundrel, you cur. You piece of shit. Fucking base. It's not fucking it's based on fucking lies. Lies and bullshit. Uh, I have a decision to rebuild the temple and see if I can do it. They seem to have fixed it. It's similar to the hold restoration. Are you sure about that? I, I can't do it because I don't have 100 ducats. Amanda, uh, quick question. I was told in my chat, who are full of wise people, uh, that the Allegedly. temple restoration thing is fixed. Is that true? Uh, you'd have to ask Joas if he fixed it, but uh, as far as I'm aware, it is broken in our current version. Okay, I'll go find him. Hey, Joas. How you doing? Hey. Uh, this temple restoration uh, decision, is that fixed? Uh, the thing is that, that if I were you, I wouldn't be restoring temples until uh, you have the artificers. Ah, uh, okay. What does it do? Artificers enables you to, to basically go on expedition, basically to the temple. And oh, then, I can be Indiana uh, Jones? Yes. Fuck yeah. This whole Indiana Jones mechanic, basically. The okay. the other thing that, that temples and spirits are doing is that from time to time you will you will get events that will give you, for example, 50 admin or 10 Rep Republican tradition. Okay, that's cool. So I should but, wait until we get artifices before I do any temple restorations. Yes, and I'm not able to tell you basically exactly what, what the mission is and even what are the triggers. So, so the, the thing is that probably it's worth to upgrade or restore it right now, but I'm not I'm not really knowing like what are the like beneficial things that you can get, get from it. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, temples probably cool, but we'll wait. We can tech up. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's another idea group. Oh! These guys come so fucking thick and fast, it's insane. Uh, archery versus muskets for how long? Until my death. Fuck that. No, 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 no. That's plus, what, was it 10%? Whatever. Doesn't even matter. Uh, for basically the rest of the game, not accepting that. that that'd be fucking bullshit. Excuse me, what the fuck is this? If you'd ever be interested in attacking Jeng Kusi, I would be willing to send you a card to the area. How many men could you muster for the cause? Also, Brian is watching my stream. <laughs> blood God demands more blood and skulls for the Skull Throne. Yes, true. We'll get those here. Like, the, here is, is, is the next conquest. Even if I was ready to attack Jeng Kusi, this would be coming first. This is, this is why it's so hard to have Brian in your chat, because you can't plot against him. Because he'll be seeing it and he'll, he guilt trips you. <laughs> I feel bad, and I shouldn't. <laughs> like I say, my plan from the very beginning, mission tree. I want to form the Sunrise Empire. Thing is, I need, I need certain things for that, uh, including... this right here so it is what it is due to its seat in the high council ma huang can boast that it has quite some influence on the politics of our country that seat is however the only thing that distinguishes the area from the much richer parts of our state such as the province of weimar which looks on at ma huang with great envy this is something that the local landowners have come to realize and through a combination of bribes and threats the votes of ma huang have come to be 
controlled entirely by a few corrupt yet influential individuals. Well, fuck. And a white tiger has been spotted. Quite delightful. To do! The white tiger is an elusive spirit and is very rarely seen by mortals. When it's spotted, it's usually taken to mean that the ruler of those lands is just and virtuous. This is actually completely accurate, yeah. Uh, reassign the seat to Weimar. Where's Mahuang? Where's Weimar? There's not a fucking chance we're reassigning that. No way. Also, loser stability. Fuck that. To breach the High Council. Another merchant. Fuck that. Advanced cost is pretty dope. Province gets development cost pretty dope, but the tolerance there is really nice. This is literally fucking useless. This is pretty dope. Um, guarantee religious. I'm not going to use the development cost because I don't have the points to develop right now. Whereas maintenance negative ten percent is fucking dope. 25% chance to win, so I have to spend quite a lot. Clergy can have some. This is why I don't fucking like this. Look at how much I have to give away to get it. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. Might I suggest a quick 1v1 duel of our armies? Just a quick battle after which we peace out for a bit of gold to the winner of the battle. Sure, that sounds acceptable. Man, man's going in already. He's he's made himself 48k. Five fire, three shock. I use my six five. <laughs> it's gonna be 48k versus 48k. Brian, I know you're listening. I would like to wait until I've got my morale uh, up to full. Like that would be quite nice. Alright, well I guess he just wants to have it in the farmlands. And the epic music is playing. Quite delightful, isn't it? Now he's going to have the river crossing. Six maneuver. Motherfucker. Hey, no one said you could siege me. No, no one told you you could siege me. <laughs> <laughs> we will have the fight in Lect on my... I just want the morale to be at absolute maximum. All right. I'll see you in Lecton Mai. The Battle of Lecton Mai is going. War religious stuff. I have already looked. There isn't any. 48k versus 48k. Let's see who comes out on top. The first roll is in my favor. I got a negative one. Fuck you, game. Also, he's kicking the fucking piss out of me. Holy shit. Decisively defeated. Holy shit. I got fucking spanked right there. Well, deal's a deal, I guess. I'm not giving you that much. How much do you want? 342? Why does that have to be fair? I'm not giving you. I'm not gonna take a fucking loan for that. You can have 68. His army is decisively better, because he has... Honestly, uh... Order of the Keeper's Discipline, the Infantry Shock. Whereas I've got nothing with regards to offensive capabilities in my national ideas. That's literally all it came down to. That 8 to a 0 in the Shock phase did some damage. It did. Also, it's, it's time to go to war against this asshole. We completely missed it, because we're having this stupid fucking duel. Also, we got this guy as well. That means you want to be full... Oh, it is full cord. All oh, right, because it's in the thing. Right, we're going to give you a seat in the High Council. Which means that... Uh, let me just have a look at the convocation. We now have Nephrite Dwarves as my non-human thing. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Fuck you, bitches. Ying Quan, I don't know who that is. Don't care. Alright, so let's get this party finished. Nice wall breach there. Cobalt minority size. Actually. Yeah. I'll take some cobalt. Why the fuck not? Oh, 
I'm not behind in any tech. It's a fucking Christmas miracle. Anyway, uh, I'm going to mothball that. I'm going to mothball. That's not mothballable. Die, bitch. Faster. Beautiful. Where's he retreating to? Yeah, just here. Am I gonna get stack wiped? I hope not. Oh my god. Uh Rude! Save the fucking infantry! There we go. So, my idea here is... Please, Lene, be all... Oh, yes! Fucking 98%! Fuck it, let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Fucking 98 aggressive expansion, who gives a shit? Several people. Don't go over the overextension. It's fine. It's beautiful. Calf cost goes down. Nice, beautiful. Let's fucking go! Oh, no! He's black flagged. He needed to declare the war. Shit. My bad, my dude. And also, I'm great power again. Get fucked, everyone. Anyway, we will start coring. We have no admin points. Yeah, clearly, clearly the reason that I lost is because I arrived here second, and apparently this has got fucking rivers going everywhere. That's a sweet looking fucking Asgore, I'm not gonna lie. Am I coring this? I am coring this one. So I can make oh, gems, gems. Yes, let's go. You're so getting a thing. Clearly, all we're doing at the moment, like, we liberated this land from shitty rule. Because it was, it's devastated. Look, look at all this fucking devastation. It's dreadful. Abhorrent, even. Diabolical, one could say. Just like my finances are diabolical. Also, my next idea... We... I mean, we gotta go culture, really. Even though we've still got fucking propaganda ideas to go through. So as our final thing to do to this Bihon guy... We're just gonna insult him, because fuck this guy. And also, I, I guess I'll have a claim there for no reason. Oh, look at these Bihon bastards! They're in my land. Actually, they're, they're marching south. That's good. You deal with them. They're your problem. Your fault. You, you caused this. I don't really want to be enemies with the engine. I'd be happy to be his friend. I'm going as Jakuma. Like, I don't see us having any conflicting territorial disputes here, right? I am perfectly happy for him to stay north of the mountain and me stay south. That's fine. Hey, I, get, I am now a 666. Beautiful. We are now a 666 ruler. Complacent. We're no. We're not. Decadence does not come with age, motherfucker. Taxes negative twenty. Oh, you fucking ball ache. Uh, I would not be able to make these videos without the generous support of my patrons. If you'd like to help support the channel so I can keep making these, you can find a link to Patreon in the description below. Also a link to my Discord, where these games are organized, as well as Twitch, where I live stream these campaigns live every Thursday. Hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoyed this video.